Okay guys, what's going on guys? No guys here, welcome back to another video. What is the future of tactics videos? And what is my grand plan that I've had been working out for years? One of my grand plans were to make tactics videos of real life teams inside FC24. Um, I've always wanted to do this and I should have probably done this three years ago. Um, problem was when I started YouTube in those days, I was forget paying my editors i didn't i was making a loss myself a year on for like a year when you first start so it's something i was never really able to do unfortunately the formation market is so saturated um but i've always wanted to make these videos so go around um see a football team see them play in real life make a video around that and then also make their real life tactics inside the game same way how i analyze pro player tactics and stuff like that i've always wanted to do that so maybe the timing is wrong because the formation market is so saturated now, you know, you can see the views for yourself. You probably know now every Tom, Dick and Harry and Jessica is putting a, a video on tactics out and uh, they've put the word meta in. If you don't put the word meta in a title, you you make like five pound, you make a loss on a video. But these videos will be made, made at a loss. Um, no one's paying me to do it, but I'm doing it myself. Um, so something I've always wanted to do. Um, so these videos will be coming out slowly. They won't be, or I'm, I'm about to start with the bigger teams. In fact, I'm recording this a day before I'm flying out. I'm actually flying out to Portugal. I'm going to Porto to see the Arsenal versus Porto game. If anyone is in Porto, of course, do shut up. We can go for a drink or something as well if anyone is in that region. Um, but I'll be making um, a video on that one. And then the Arsenal versus Porto, I'll do a video on. Arsenal's tactics and then maybe I'll do Porto as well so I'm really really looking forward to doing that as I said I've always wanted to do it um, got no sponsors but if anyone is out there that wants to sponsor these videos um, feel free to shout at me but I think I'm pretty much on my own for now um, as I said it's something I've always wanted to do it's more for fun it's not about the views uh, but stay tuned for those videos I'll be making a loss on every single video but I've always something I've always always wanted to do um, also in regard to that uh, what's going on with tactics ultimate tactics i kind of you know maybe from you know, i do a lot of youtube coaching consulting from a business perspective financially it's a very stupid time to do what i'm about to do um, but this ultimate tactics i want to release out every single tactic um, like a defensive variation attacking variation because i want to give you the user the ability to choose now, i should have probably done this earlier on this side of the year but you guys know I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not going to upload something for the sake of it or give you fake stuff. I'm not that kind of guy. Um, but um, behind the scenes is testing that's going on with tactics. We want to basically have different variations. So you're going to see all these ultimate tactics series where we go through every single formation. I go through a defensive layout and attacking layout. If you notice something in my tactics videos, before I used to be like, this is the tactics, copy it, that's it. Now it's... These are tactics, but if you struggle offensively, turn this down a little bit here. But to play a bit more slower, turn this here. Now, the reason why I do that, I could probably make three videos out of that one video, but I make one video because I want you as the user to learn. It's very, very important. You know, the, the reason why um, in this, let's say, my FIFA score, the reason why I charge the highest amount of money is people pay for quality. And I know the quality is there. That's why we give a money back guarantee because we know that anyone who joins it is going to get better guaranteed. I masterminded everything myself. All the content, I have editors that help me make the videos. A lot of editors that help me make it. But everything is scripted and researched and a lot of testing is done all by myself. So when I'm not doing a tactics video behind the scenes, I'm always testing things out. Um, so, but what I've been trying to do is for the average player, I've been trying to get you to adjust small final things because I've realized people just copy tactics nowadays. They don't care whether it's good or whether it's bad. They just want to try new tactics, win three games on the trot and be like best tactics ever. Then suddenly the tactics stop working. What a load of nonsense. Tactics don't stop working. They're never, they're never like that. It's because the gameplay issue. So what I did is I tried to focus on gameplay and that's why I try to say in tactics videos to adjust it for your playstyle. Tactics are very important, but it's only maybe 10 to 15%. I'll be honest, okay? 10% of 
is your team. Now, when I say it's your team, if you're using bronze players, of course you're going to lose. But if you follow my tactical, like my, uh, my, my, you know, what? I should be uploading actually more squad builders probably on me. Uh, but if you follow any of my squad builders, you, you don't listen to no BS advice telling you to use Ruben Diaz with 60 pace and centre back. If you're following my advice, the team, maybe 10%. If you have a 1 million coin squad builder for myself, and then you have your 15 million coin team, I promise you, and you're sitting there, I challenge you, go play one weekend league, don't rush, one weekend league, with a 1 million coin team, and let's say your main team's worth 10, 15 million, I promise you, you'll get the same record, I'm telling you straight to your face, you'll get the same record, you might get one or two wins more, you might even play better. You're in my 15k, my 15k team series that I used to use. It was challenging. I used to play pro players. I used to flip and struggle, but I did well. I used to always lose those games against pro players, but I used to make them struggle. They used to mechanic abuse against the 15k goal team, but it used to make me play better because I used to concentrate on what to do. So sometimes it's better to use a cheaper team because you don't just run out with your centre back thinking I can get away with team of the year Virgil Van Dijk. You understand the limitations. So. Team is only 10%. Tactics is still 20 to 30% because if you have everyone on, if, you, if you're using, a, let's say, a non meta formation, like I'm going to give you an example. Like I don't care what people say with this 4 3 3. It's not a meta format, not for like to play for the entire game. Unless you're an elite player, the meta formation, you're going to struggle. So, yes, tactics and formations are important. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, if you run out with your center back, it's going to change nothing. So that is why we've taken, well, I've taken the methodology of trying to tell you how to change a tactic so you can adjust it for your play style and ultimately so you can find the mistakes yourself, um, which is the biggest thing. Um, so that is why ultimate tactics, we're going to go through every single one of these tactics because at the end of the day, it's about having fun. Experimenting with these tactics, A, you're going to have fun and B, we coming with this real life tactics. We're going to do the same thing. Let me know what teams you want to see. I, there's some really niche teams that I really want to go and watch. A, because it's cheap to go and do it. So I, I won't make that much of a loss. Like if I ended up going to, I don't know, to Champions League game, probably make a net loss of thousands of pounds. But uh, if I went to like a Madrid or something. But I might have to start with some of those games because that's ultimately what brings the viewership in. Um, but if you're watching this video anyway, this video is only only a couple of thousand views. You're probably an OG viewer and you're generally trying to improve. Or maybe you just like my voice or whatever. So that is kind of what's happening with that. So what I want next year is, let's say you have a, a, the weekly tactical layout. Instead of it being ultra defensive, defensive attack and ultra attack, it would be like, this is slot one. You can use X, Y, Z formations in that slot. That's the way that I want to do it. So before it was like, that's the formations, you copy it. Then this year we went to this, last year into this methodology of, okay, these are the tactics. This is why I adjusted this. I explained to you how things change week on week and how even though a patch might not affect the gameplay, but indirect changes that people play. And then that therefore um, technically affects tactics. And then this year, I said, we're trying to slot in new formations, try things out. Because I'll give an example, the 352, right? Like, think about how many times I made a meta formation. 352, they all laughed at me. All laughed at me. Well, Neil, what are you talking about? It's not meta formation. Meta and FIFA 19. It says me, meta FIFA 21. They all laughed at me. It was meta then. The same with the 5212. People should just laugh at me. So, oh, he's made it for me. It's not meta, but it was meta. So, these are all just the things just to bear in mind. If you don't try, you just don't know. Unfortunately, this year, there's no variation. EA have not really done a good job. They haven't given me loads of new formations that I can just try new things out. They've patched a lot of things. They've nerfed a lot of things. So even me, that's why there's been nothing. Um, if you're expecting some next level attacks that I've been hiding for years, there's literally nothing that's new. But it's different variations. Um, but yeah, that's something just to look forward to. Um, the week tactics videos are still going to come out. Don't worry. I know even though the, vid the views are not there, I know people always keep requesting. Even when I don't change the tactics week on week, people are like Neil where's the video so don't worry those will be still be coming out um but if there's no change I'm not going to make a tactics video but as I said because we're now focusing on changing a few things um we can do that anyways thank you very much for watching that's just a bit of an update on tactics videos league tactics videos week is still going to be there 
uh, individual formation and pro analysis still going to be there but we're also going to introduce us raw life tactics videos as well and hopefully those videos for example like, like i make for example on these ones that are very low cost videos i just play the game very minimal editing i have editors anyway so that i already pay so it, it doesn't really cost well technically cost but not directly um can make up for the bigger videos as well so that's something I wanted to mention to you. That's just kind of what my thought process is. Let me know what you guys think. Or maybe if you have any suggestions yourself. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And catch you very, very soon with the, the, the Port of Us awesome video. Catch you then. Peace out.